Kelly Freed, Executive Director of the Chesterfield Community Services Board, also known as the Department of Mental Health Support Services. This year, 2021, marks the 50th anniversary of the CSB. It's been an incredible journey for the CSB, which has been focused for 50 years on providing and expanding our services in developmental disabilities, early intervention, mental health, prevention, and substance use disorders. It's hard to believe the CSB has been around for half a century. Approved by the Chesterfield Board of Supervisors in 1971, the Mental Health Mental Retardation Services Program, as it was previously called, was established. As the county's population has significantly increased throughout the years, the CSB has expanded our staff, budget, and programs to better meet the needs of our residents. Well, I started here in 1972. My last role, which for many years was the same, was the director of the Crisis Intervention Program or Emergency Mental Health Services for the CSB. How I saw it change was we literally went from backwoods Chesterfield County. So I think the sophistication of the whole understanding of the mental health world, the growth of medications, the education of family members, the prevention aspects, all of those became part of this larger uh, picture. That when I left in 2003, that's kind of what we had. When I started in 72, many of the people I saw did not ever want to see someone like me. You know, they, they felt like they were marked for life. So I, I guess that's how I see the, the stigma. It's much more accepted now that people can have help and reach out for help. We saw incredible things, heartbreaking things, funny things. It gave me a place to be a part of my community, meet my community. Um, gave me a good life. From the 1970s through the 1990s, there were revolutionary changes in behavioral health and developmental disability concepts throughout the nation. In the 1970s, we opened our first 24-hour group home for individuals with intellectual disabilities. In 1975, we opened the Chesterfield Occupational Center, now known as Chesterfield Employment Services, which has been helping individuals with disabilities gain meaningful employment for over 40 years. It was also in this decade that the CSB began providing emergency services, mental health outpatient services for adults and children, consultation and education, and long-term care services. Well, David's an unusual young man. He has Down syndrome and he works five days a week and he earns his own money. He lives in a group home, been there about 19 years and he loves it, loves his work. And I get a new job. It's made a big difference because he feels his well self-worth like his brothers. He's working, he's making money and he can spend his money and go shopping. He's very proud of his work. Um, his favorite saying is that he's a working man. Working man. <laughs> In the 80s and 90s, the CSB continued to focus on meeting the needs of a growing county population. Our Chesterfield Infant Program began as a joint endeavor between the Chesterfield Health Department and the CSB and was also a time when the CSB created two model programs to promote community integration, started the Child and Adolescent Services Programs, and developed the Immediate Services Team, which was a precursor to same-day access that is provided today. As the CSB services expanded, it was also a time when many partnerships with county departments and community organizations began, and these collaborations have made it possible possible for the CSB to extend its reach and help even more people in need. The CSB plays a huge role and over the years with the uh, reduction of the number of mental health uh, hospitals and beds, uh, we have a large population in our jail and the CSB helps with taking care of all of those individuals uh, in the jail with psychiatric services, mental health clinician services, and crisis services. The impact ha actually has been, has been huge and this is, I think, one of our longest running partnerships uh, with a, uh, a county uh, department. Some of our earlier partnerships included partnering with Camp Baker starting in the 1970s to provide summer recreation for children with intellectual disabilities. Working with private citizens, Gateway Homes was established to provide housing supports to those with serious mental illness. Chesterfield Alternatives Incorporated has been a key partner since 1985 and through their support of CSB programs has made it possible for us to operate the community residences we have today. 
Starting in the 1990s, we partnered with Health and Social Services to develop the Chesterfield Families First program. I was part of the Welcome Baby program uh, with my first child. I was 17 when she, uh, she was born and uh, the Welcome Baby program provided uh, support and training and resources uh, to help with a uh, new parent. I had my daughter Lucy three months ago and it was a very hard transition going from not having kids to being a mom and I did reach out to the county and I needed help with taking care of my daughter and making sure that she was meeting all the milestones that she needed to, to meet. So I'm now a participant in Chesterfield County's Healthy Families program. Developing community partnerships is a true hallmark of the CSB. Over the past decade, we started new partnerships with our public safety personnel and other first responders to provide training on crisis intervention techniques to reduce the likelihood of harm when encountering situations involving individuals with mental health challenges. The passion of our staff has allowed the Chesterfield CSB to be a true trailblazer in the areas of mental health, substance use, and intellectual disabilities. The Chesterfield CSB was one of the first to obtain full accreditation from the Commission on Accreditation for Rehabilitative Facilities for all of its programs and services, to create comprehensive primary prevention programs, to hire a psychiatrist in a joint arrangement with Virginia Commonwealth University, to develop a crisis incident stress debriefing program for public safety personnel, and to develop a Build-A-House program in partnership with Chesterfield County Schools and CAI Incorporated, which provides the opportunity for students of the Chesterfield Career and Technical Center to gain real life work experience by using their skills to build houses that will later be homes for individuals with intellectual disabilities. To date, four homes have been built through this wonderful partnership. Well, actually, this is one of the uh, best things in, edu in public education I've ever been involved with. The children learn how to give back. At first, all they want to do is learn how to be electricians. But when you see a 17-year-old boy sitting here and he's meeting a Down syndrome person that's going to live here in the group home, you see their, their tear up, you've done something. You've really accomplished something. And they learn the importance of giving back to the community. That's a big thing. Not, not a lot of young people get the opportunity to learn that while they're still in high school. So where are we today and how will the past 50 years impact the next? We recognize how the developments in social media, such as our Facebook pages, provide many opportunities to provide information and outreach to residents about our programs and services. With the emphasis on both health and wellness, we continue to find creative ways to integrate primary and behavioral health to provide a holistic approach to treatment. This includes providing model programs such as our opioid outreach coordinator and mobile integrated healthcare teams that work out in the community and using technology such as telehealth to provide service options that best meet consumer needs. We continue to work with our regional partners as well as public-private partnerships to maximize our resources to build new programs and services such as mobile crisis teams and 23-hour observation units. And we understand the key to all services are the outcomes our residents experience, which help them to lead full and enriching lives. As I close, it is important to note that one thing that has not changed over the past 50 years are the talented and committed staff who go above and beyond to provide the best experience to those we serve each and every day. On behalf of the Chesterfield Community Services Board, thank you for your commitment in making the CSB the best that it can be for the past 50 years.